Well, the obvious rumours and leaks were true and Rage 2 was announced. So, we pretty much knew this by the way they were behaving and acting around the Rage 2 Walmart leak situation. So, I don't know if this was their plan to do it all along like this, if that's some sort of marketing technique or if it just sort of happened this way when Walmart accidentally leaked it. I probably would have imagined this was going to be shown at E3 because they said they had loads and loads of games to show. So, I definitely think that it did get pushed forward. Because Bethesda are not really known for having serious game leaks like this. Normally they're very good at keeping the secret, so it's all new behaviour for them, I guess you can really say. The trailer is nothing, really. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, it's just the trailer is literally just the announcement trailer. Bethesda promised that we get all the good deeds and all the good gameplay tomorrow so we don't have to wait even longer even though we have not had to wait pretty much hardly at all on this i think it literally got announced last week or leaked last week and already we've got the trailer and we're going to see gameplay for it tomorrow i don't think the trailer said any time the game's going to be released by the way there's already be gameplay shown of it i recommend or i think it might actually come out this year beginning of next year time that'd be really cool so there's a game to look forward to it's also developed, well co-developed, by id Software, as you can see from a Twitter post by the official Rage account. As it says here, it's co-developed by id Software and another group called Avalanche Sweden. So it is confirmed to be by id Software. There was like some rumours going around, I believe, that pointed or suggested it might not be them at all who's making it. I thought it felt a bit weird because it kind of makes sense to them obviously to continue to make the sequel because they made the first one. Does that mean the obvious question? Does that mean that Doom 2018 doesn't exist or Doom 2019 or whenever we're going to see it? Not necessarily. Here's the problem. I would have said 100% not coming out or announced this year about a couple of months ago. But one thing still changes my mind completely and still makes me think that there's still hope for Doom News, this E3. And that, of course, is the Hell on Earth reference. It's either A, a direct reference the show is obviously here. B, a wrong choice of words. You might have accidentally just said that. It just feels a bit out of place if you did that by accident, though. But obviously, and understandably, it could be just a pure accident that he said that. Or C, they was referencing the new Rage 2, which does make sense because it could be hell on earth, really. But that would be a stupid move by them because then they're going to appeal to the wrong audience. And as you saw that when the hell on earth reference come out, everyone immediately went to Doom and no one even mentioned anything about Rage. So if that did turn out to be a Rage 2 reference, it definitely did not help the marketing of this whole situation that would just put them down a little bit further than higher because like i said everyone be sitting there going doom 2 doom 2 but rage 2 it it just feels out of place i really hope the head on earth reference is a reference to doom and not to rage even if we don't get anything from doom this e3 i just hope they don't actually start referencing Head on Earth adds Rage 2 from now on because that would not be a good idea on their behalf. But as people have pointed out on my channel before, are they going to release two of these sort of similar style games at the same time? Well, yeah, maybe, because I think that Doom's only going to get a sort of teaser like they did with the other one. So we're just literally going to see Doom pop up on the screen and that's all we're going to see. Like a five second teaser. That's all I'm predicting. And obviously Rage. By the way they've already confirmed it. They've already, By the way they're just acting at the minute. It's coming out pretty soon. Just by all the gameplay we're going to see quite recently. And the way they're acting. We're going to see that pretty soon. So I don't know. I still think that we could see something. Although at the same time. The games are actually not that similar. Yes, they have their similarities, don't get me wrong, but they have much, much more differences than they do. And I won't classify Rage as a true first-person shooter, 
or a classic first person shooter which I put Doom in that category it kind of it does cover it but it also has its own elements maybe like even like close to RPG elements I guess you can say obviously not quite but it's not a 100% FPS if this makes any sense or at least not to me it it's hard to explain but they are different games they are very different in ways but similar in others it's really hard to explain but they're not obviously so it could also just mean they release both it's software might have multiple teams working on different things we don't know anyway cool news that we are going to get some raids too i just really really hope they fix all the problems from the first one the main problem i had with rage one is just that i had no self i had like no power just to keep playing on i got like three or four hours into it and i already thought i already knew at that point i've seen most of what the game had to offer going around collecting things here and there fighting the same skinned enemy over and over again they literally rarely change it just felt like the same the whole way through it it might have got better in the end i heard actually the engine is supposed to get worse so i really hope they do fix it but of course i'll give it a try it's like it's software so most if not every single game they've come up so far is at least been great so hopefully they've really have fixed the problems in rage 2 it looks like they've kind of gone away from the serious atmosphere though to the more of a jokey apocalypse world i guess you can say so it might be good i don't know we, only time will tell only the gameplay will show some more information tomorrow so we can have a look then if it's worth i might make a, another video about it then but until now, this has been Rock Hard Gamer 45, and I'd like to know what you guys think down below. Does this kill off any Doom news? Or does it not prove anything about the Doom news? Do you think that Rage 2 is going to be good, bad? Just let me know in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.